And this is the only two person elevator. I think we could fit one more. Josh, you're on your own. We're going without you. Guys, it's not about the size of your camera. What is it about then? <laughs> all right, so this is a pink job, so all the pinks are going to the supermarket and Ew, all the Joel. blues. What? What's wrong with that? Ew. What's wrong with that? Well, I don't know, like, that's just what comes to mind when I think of you. Like, yeah, but he's like a psychopathic maniac. I'm pretty sure this is the boat we're about to get on. <sighs> Going to Florida. Day what? We're gonna go buy a boat. This is the first sunset we're gonna bring in under sail. Tony and Jared, they left. Um, I just joined the bums here. <laughs> what would your days look like if you were living the adventure of your dreams? Here I am, in a place close to my heart. Six years ago, I arrived here with my brother Tony and our good friend Jared. We came here to buy a sailboat. Free spirited and living the adventure of our dreams. Our boat was found on Craigslist. We called the owner and purchased Shock Mate for $10,000 one week after we arrived in Florida. Joyce had never met us and allowed us to stay in her guest house free of charge while we shopped for and worked on our sailboat, feeding us a delicious dinner each night. All this time later, I am back at Joyce's. Things are different now. My brother Tony and Jared have moved on to something else in life. But to quote the song Closing Time by Semisonic, Every new beginning starts with some other beginning's end. This new beginning includes love. Together, Michael and I forge our own path. The last passage we made on Shock Mate was from St. Thomas to Kerikou, where we hauled her out of the water for hurricane season. We are so close to returning back to Shock Mate but our current mission is reconnecting with loved ones and sharing a surprise adventure with you. Can, can I say goodbye? Can I say goodbye? He's like, I don't think so. The master. What do you think you're doing? See you in a little bit. Well, we're here at Joyce's in Florida, and we came all the way here from Washington State after the race to Bermuda. It in. Yeah. And we planned our route so that we could stop and see friends and family along the way. We had a crazy scare, and Lola got out when we left her with Joyce and Darby. Yeah. And we lost her for four hours. We were freaking out. We we're devastated. Driving all over, screaming her name. Crying. But the neighbors, the wonderful families that Joyce lives next to, and they're such good people, such good friends. We wouldn't have found her if it wasn't for them. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. It was scary. But we found her, and she is going to stay here in Florida for a couple weeks while we hop on a plane and fly to Europe. Yep. All right, Darby. I'll see you around. All right, we'll, we'll be we'll be talking to you. See you soon. Cars okay, open. Get your little bodies in there. All right. Oh well, we're almost ready. We're not quite ready oh. yet, Joyce. Oh, okay. Joyce, I'm so sorry to interrupt stacks you. Stacks, and I'm just watching the news. There's stacks <clears throat> and stacks and container ships unwrapped everywhere. Unwrapped. And there was earthquakes yesterday in Crete, which affected trembling and crumbling a little bit in Athens. Okay. Well. Um, I just I just need you to okay. do one thing. Okay. If you are willing to. Sure. Can Bye. you can you give us a, a these are the tales of Boab? <laughs> and these are the tales of Boab. Wow, she's a pro. Okay. <laughs> Back to your regular programming. Well, it's not my regular one, but Okay, the news. Oh, All right. Now I'm packing. Okay. Woohoo! This is it. This is our room. We got here late last night. I think we were basically flying and on trains for about 24 hours. 
at least. Yeah, yeah. lost track of time because we went forward like six hours. So yeah, it was a long, crazy day, but mm -hmm. this was our room. It's pretty small. There's a nice little shower. And this room was about 40 euros, which is like $50 for the night, so not bad. Probably less than 50. Okay, like how much? I don't know, 47. Okay, 47 to be exact. We'll actually do the calculation. <laughs> no, I checked the bank statement, it was $47. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna go get on a ferry now. Thanks. We're in, yeah, Athens, by the way, Greece. We made it. I don't know. <laughs> Two, three, two, That's where two. we were heading. Yeah, okay, well, let's go. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> Catalina checked us in last night and she wanted to let us know that everything is smaller in Greece. So if we're used to the big fancy stuff in the USA, not gonna get it here. And this is the only two person elevator. I think we could fit one more. <laughs> Somewhere. Get one. Go on. No. Face mask. Face mask. Okay, we're waiting for Josh. We said we were gonna rendezvous down here in the lobby at 6.45. I don't see him. Okay, wait, what just happened? <laughs> well, we were gonna meet Josh at 6.45, at 6.44, but I think a lot of people are already, well, I think I need this outside. A lot of people are already on the ferry. Is Josh on the ferry? I don't think so. Just Alex and Mandy and maybe Andrew and Heba. I think that's how you say her name. Oh. We haven't met them yet. Okay, well, um, here we are running late. Josh <laughs> Josh has already caught this ferry. He said yeah. we really didn't need that much Let me put time. This in my backpack. He was telling us we'll make it pretty easy. Um, so we we're going with that because he's already been here for about a week. Uh, looks like we're running. Want a little bit behind. Hopefully we catch this thing. Okay, well, we told Josh we're just gonna go. So, I'm sure he's on his way, but Josh, you're on your own. We're going without you. Hope you make the ferry. Michael's our navigator as usual. We're pretty sure the ferry's this way, but we're a little turned around right now. So, uh-oh, maybe that's our ferry. It says E7, which is confusing because E7 yeah, is pointing back that way. Yeah, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, we're following signs. Know where we are. Ah. Is this the boat? This is it. I was confused as anything as well. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Alright. Uh, sprinting over with all my crap. Yeah. But I knew it wasn't going to be like the crisis they were making it sound like. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like they were on the boat in, like an hour and a half before yeah. it's leaving. And, uh, people waiting to get tickets and stuff, so. It's all good. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Did, you guys, Boom. did I leave you guys? I don't know if we left you or you left us. Uh, we left at like 645. Okay, I was like three minutes after, so I think it's all good. Oh, wow. And I went to the wrong, I was the bad guide anyway, because I went to this other boat, and I'm like, is this the one? He's like, oh, no, it's that one. Wow, he moves fast. Yeah. So we left before him. We kind of took the circuitous route. All right. Bye. Right.
I have to say it's pretty cool uh, seeing other people do what we do. We got Josh and Alex over there. We all got our cameras out. So it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm having serious camera envy. Let's look at Alex's camera here. Guys, it's not about the size of your camera. What is it about then? <laughs> Figure it out. It's not about the size of your camera, it's about how well you can use it. Is that it? There you go. Hey, but look at this thing, really. There's a guy making a video. <laughs> Now we got to meet Andy. He's the guy that organized this whole thing. He's got a podcast called Ocean Cruisers Podcast. He actually did an interview with Michael and I. And we can't wait to meet him in person. So I guess he's sitting at a coffee shop five minutes away. And then um, there's a supermarket. We all got to get some food and water. And here we go. Got all of our luggage. And I think, oh yeah, Maddie went up ahead with the camera. She's getting the shots. Looks like we got two kids for the ride. How do you say thank you? Et Cristo. Almost. You have to put the emphasis at the O. Yeah. All right. These are our teachers here. All right. How do you, how do, you do it right? Well, I'm not Greek though, but look at the European expert. Et Cristo. And now I have to see if a Greek. Et Cristo. How do you do it? Et Cristo. No, we it I always try too much. You have to relax. Et Cristo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I always try too hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. So. so we got a Greek coffee here. <laughs> and um, interesting, I guess they make it the same as they do in Turkey. But they don't oh they gosh, wouldn't want to hear that. Like, Mandy's like, teaching us so much. She knows a lot about this culture. Oh, she sure has that, you know, confidence like everything she says is right. Michael does the same thing. So it's like literally I think she knows everything, which is great. But maybe I'll take it with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, this is the Greek coffee. They just basically boiled it and um, they don't they don't uh, strain the grounds, so um, I guess I'm gonna have grounds in my teeth. Maybe it's really strong too, and we'll see. We'll see if it gives me energy because we need energy right now. Chicken for dinner. Okay. Chicken for dinner, eggs for breakfast, cold cuts for lunch. Ooh, and I should get all stuff to make a Greek salad. Too, huh? Yes. Yes. All right. So this is a pink job. So all the pinks are going to the supermarket, and all the blues. All the blues. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? Ew. What's wrong with that? We're not. We're not gender. Like you can no longer like sell. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie doesn't like the whole pink blue job thing. Michael doesn't either, but I think she's warming up to it. I uh, also haven't introduced the man, the myth, the legend, Andy. Um, I am Andy. Yes. So you've somehow pulled a lot of strings to make this happen, right? Yeah, you're like the you're like the probably you're like the you're like the, uh, <laughs> the wizard the wizard behind the the uh, you know the sheet. The Have curtain. you ever seen the Wizard of Oz? The curtain? Yeah, the wizard behind the curtain. Yeah. I feel like 
I don't know, like that's just what comes to mind when I think of you. Like, yeah, but he's like a psychopathic like maniac. You're awesome. not psychopathic? You can be the judge of that in a week, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just met George. Hi. <laughs> George. Got a little sick. I'm feeling a little sick, a little tired. George from Sailing with George. This is his boat. He's gonna let us take it out. <coughs> it'll a little queasy though. So as we pulled up, we spied this Ocean Star 56 here. I just want to point it out. I'm pretty sure this is the boat we're about to get on. That one. Right there. <sighs> Obviously, we'll know for sure in a couple seconds. That, in fact, is the boat we will be cruising on for the next seven days. We're taking you along to explore the Cycladic Islands in Greece, and together, we'll find out what it's like when four different YouTube channels spend seven days together on a sailboat. Wow. wow. Not too shabby, as we say in the US. What did she say? <laughs> it's a handful. <laughs> It's a big Genoa salami. It'd be like, I'm he waiting. He's a little nervous about the weather, I don't know. Yeah. Not enough winds, he thinks. <laughs> like that. That's it. It's basically a tripod head. Uh, Jimmy uh, Fallon, okay. okay. And he's, he was announcing that there's this new birth control in the works for men, which is this little cup. And it apparently, you, you're supposed to like set your testicles in, these, in this cup. These are the tales of Boab. Boab.